we're gonna start our school year off with a pencil drawing. Um, each week we're gonna be doing completely different things, but I wanna show you what I'd like you to gather before we begin. So the first thing you're gonna need is a art pencil. Now, if you don't have this, you can use a regular pencil, that's fine, like a number two pencil, and I'd like you to have that too. But if you gathered some of these art, art pencils, that would be great. This is actually, it's getting, I'm using it a lot, so I don't have a lot left. This is an Ebony Prisma pencil. I love these pencils. They are so wonderful to draw and sketch with. Um, they're great for shading and creating different values in art, and we'll be talking about those as well. Um, so if you have one of these, fabulous. If you don't, no worries. Um, a number two pencil. Here's another thing, if you have, um, that would be great, and if not, it's okay, is a blending stick. I love blending sticks when I'm drawing with pencil. It pretty much takes the lead of the pencil and it helps it smear. So it makes lights and darks for you. It's really fun. You will definitely need a pencil eraser. Pretty much every time we do art, you're gonna need a pencil and an eraser. Um, and then I like to have a sharpener handy. So gather those items before we begin. All right, so this first artist that I want to share with you is an artist named Ansel Adams. Now Ansel Adams was born in 1902 and he died in 1984 at 82 years old. He was, his medium of making art was photography. He, um, he lived a long time ago um, and in his time there wasn't phones. There was no digital art. Everything was used by a camera and you went into what was called the dark room and you put your photographs in water and then it was a whole way of creating art. There's still a lot of people that do that to this day. It's really um, quite exciting. So if you have time, you can look up Ansel Adams on YouTube or and watch him um, make his art and develop his art. He what, He's what is called a landscape photographer. All his work was in black and white, and that's why I thought it would be fun for us to work in pencil right now. Um, he loved nature. He would go, his, all his work was our national parks. So he would go to places like Yosemite, and he would spend lots and lots of time and photograph beautiful landscapes and animals. He was born in San Francisco, and a really interesting fact about Ansel Adams is that he survived the Spanish flu. In 1918, there was a Spanish flu. It's kind of like our coronavirus of our time. And they all the kids had to quarantine, just like you guys are doing, and be so strong, just like you guys are. And he actually, as a child, got that Spanish flu. And he survived, um, and he, he spent he actually played piano as a child and he was homeschooled as a child and he grew up to become one of the most famous photographers ever. So we are going to focus on nature today as we create a black and white landscape in pencil. And what I want you to do first, I want you to start with your number two pencil. Now we're going to start at the bottom of our piece. And this is going to be kind of an area that we're gonna make a buffalo. Wild buffalo is gonna stand in our photo, photo that we're creating. So here at the bottom, it's not straight. I'm just making a line like that. It's just gonna be an area that our buffalo that we're about to make is going to stand on. Now our buffalo is going to be what is called in a silhouette. So mainly just dark. We're not gonna do all the detail of the fur and everything. So on this line, I'm gonna teach you now how to draw a buffalo. So we're, when you make art, everything is just breaking things down into shapes. So if we think of things as shapes, 
then it's not so hard to make things. So here above my line, I'm gonna start by creating, I'm gonna come up about this far, and I'm gonna create a line that starts about right here and tilts slightly upward, okay? Slightly upward. This is the back of our buffalo. And then right at the end of the tilt, it's going to dip. That line is gonna dip down, okay? So it's kind of like a line and then a hook down. So that's gonna be the back of our buffalo. Now I'm gonna come here at the back of the buffalo and I'm gonna curve around, okay? And I'm gonna take an area and I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna come back up, bring the hook down and create an area that looks like this. I know that doesn't look like a buffalo, not even close, but here's my eraser. I'm gonna erase that a little bit, but that's gonna be our buffalo's torso. Okay, now the head of the buffalo, we're gonna come, remember where we hooked down right here? We're gonna come out about this far. We're gonna go straight down right here, not to the bottom, but close. I'm gonna tilt down. Here's his chin and curve back. Okay, does it look like a buffalo yet? Nope, not yet, but it will. Right here is where his horn is gonna be. I don't know if you've ever seen a buffalo in the wild. I have a couple times on road trips, um, but that's about it. They're pretty rare to see, but they're, they're big. Okay, so there's my buffalo's horn, which I'm going to keep light. So I'm going to come over here and we're now we're going to make the legs of our buffalo. So see that chin area that we created? I'm going to come down and I'm going to take a line that goes right down to the ground. Right there. So I went from my chin to the ground. Okay. Now I'm going to come over about right here. Okay. And I'm going to go back and forth. This is going to be his fur and I'm gonna come in. So it's wide and get smaller to the foot of my buffalo, All right? Leg number one. Now leg number two is going to start right here. So you're gonna come back to the kind of fur that we created and we're gonna come down and we're gonna stop. Okay, just come down and stop about right there. I'm gonna come over here and this is gonna be a big wide leg and I'm gonna come down, zigzag, zigzag, create some fur and stop. So now we have leg number one, leg number two. Let's get some back legs on this buffalo. So right here, this is gonna be an area I'm gonna go back and forth. That's just kind of like his tail area. And right, so I'm gonna create that right there. And what we're gonna do, and you'll see, is we're gonna make this all black because it's gonna be what is called a silhouette. It's where you only see the outline of something. So I'm gonna come right here, back of the tail, and I'm gonna jolt out. See how I did that? And I'm gonna go back and forth, and I'm gonna come down to the ground. It's one of his back legs. Then I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna get skinnier and I'm gonna come down to the ground. There's three legs, but our buffalo has four legs. So behind this leg, come out, and I'm gonna come down to the ground, okay? And I'm gonna come out and down to the ground. Now we have four-legged buffalo. I'm gonna get that drawing pencil um, that Prisma one that I have, um, or you can get just your normal pencil. And I'm gonna go really dark, okay? Because I want this to be a silhouette. And I'm gonna color in everything. Everything now is going to be black. Because these Prisma pencils, they get like, they 
make it almost black in color. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go really dark and um, we're gonna create, I'm gonna teach you how to create lots of different types of animals. Actually, unit two, when we get to unit two, is all gonna be animals. <laughs> lots of different types, fun and crazy ones. Animals from um, different parts of our world, all kinds of fun stuff, so that'll be unit two. But for now, unit one, we're gonna create this. So we're gonna create a landscape for this big, strong buffalo to live on next. Um, one thing I did, I made a little mistake. I got rid of his horn too much. So I wanna see that this is a horn. So I'm gonna go back in and I got a little too, too crazy with that pencil right there. So now you can see it's just a silhouette of his body, all nice and dark. Alrighty. So, there we go. Now, let's create, let's create some land for this buffalo to live on. So, this is going to be what I call our foreground, what's in front of us. And then we're gonna have fun and we're gonna make some different areas in our background. So I'm gonna start on my next line and I'm just gonna come down like so that's gonna be another area I'm gonna come around and create an area like this this is actually would be a nice place um, called a watering hole nice place for that buffalo to go and get a drink a hot day I'm gonna come down and create a hill and a hill like that. I'm gonna create a really nice big sun right here, peeping over the hills, creating, um, creating that silhouette of our big buffalo. Um, I'm gonna create some birds in the sky. See how I do birds? Kind of like M's, like M's that you've just widened. So you're just gonna one, two, and if I want them to be further back in space, I can make them smaller. Great, so now we have a little bit of a landscape, but we need to now add some shading into that landscape. So let me, let me sharpen this pencil real quick here. Alrighty. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna make the bottom of my picture going to go through it really fast and I'm going to make it nice and dark. Okay, now I'm pushing to make it nice and dark. I'm just pushing down pretty hard. If you push down harder with your pencil, it's going to make a darker value. And when I say value, I don't mean money. When I say value in art, it means the difference between light and dark. So, a nice dark value. All right, so layer number two, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with that. I'm gonna go strong on that line right here. See how that line is? I'm pushing down right here. And then I'm gonna go really soft. A lot softer. I'm not pushing down that hard. And if I push down lighter, then you're gonna get a lighter value. I'm gonna come behind my buffalo. Okay, great. Now, this is gonna be kind of like a water area, I'm gonna think of it. So I'm just gonna be, oh, so soft in this area, like not dark at all. Barely pushing down, like, I can barely feel myself pushing down. So that's gonna be really light. Now, my last layers, I'm gonna push down a little bit darker, not too much darker. Create a nice shade of my pencil. Back here and back here. Sorry. 
All right, now one thing I think would be nice for my landscape, I'm just gonna darken the edges a little bit where they come together. Okay, and I'm gonna create some grass. So I'm gonna come down here um, and I'm going to push down pretty hard. See how I'm just making little grass areas through my art? I'm just literally starting and pushing up. Starting and pushing up, it's actually kind of fun. And I'm pushing down really hard. And you can put grass all through your piece by doing this. Just push up, it's kind of fun. Because he is in the wild. I'm gonna pretend he is in the Yosemite Valley and um, my photographer is sitting and still and photographing him. So as I go back in space in my landscape, things are gonna be smaller because that's what happens. As things move back, they get smaller and smaller and um, because they're further away. So my grass, if I'm gonna put a little grass in here, it's gonna be smaller blades of grass than these because these are closer to me. Um, I'm gonna create some um, trees. It's gonna create a shape, kind of looks like that. I'm gonna create some trees, maybe a little, some trees together. There's three trees right here, back in my landscape. Maybe I'll do a couple more on this hill. These kind of look like cypress trees. Those trees that grow like skinny and straight up. So we're gonna have a few cypress trees in our landscape. All right, so now I want to use my blending stick. If you don't have one, it's fine. You can use your fingers too. But I'm gonna go through my landscape. It needs to be quiet. And I'm going to shade out I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna shade out my landscape. Okay, right here's my water and I want it really lightly done. So I'm gonna go really soft over this water area, like a pond, a, a drinking area for my buffalo and all the other wonderful animals that are living in the nature. I'm gonna come over here, add a little shading. Down at the bottom, this is my darkest value. From lights to darks, this is my dark value. It's gonna be a little darker. It gives a little contrast to my piece. Now for the behind, my sun rising, I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm just gonna borrow all this pencil lead and I'm gonna come back here. I'm actually gonna have fun and just work myself through my piece. And I'm just gonna use my hand and I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna get really messy actually. Can you see how messy my hand is? It's really crazy, but it's fun. And the nice thing about the oils in your fingers is they are great for blending. They do a really good job for blending. So I'm just gonna look at this, because we're almost finished now, and maybe just add a few more details for fun. You, If you wanted, you could add sun rays off that um, sun back there, if you want. You could even make it silly and add a little happy face. It's all up to you. That's the thing, this is your art piece. I don't want you to be stressed about it. I just want you to enjoy making this little landscape today with me. Um, take all the time you need to create this. And next week we're gonna be making an art piece that's very, very different from this. And we're gonna be using some colored pencils. So gather those for next week. All right, boys and girls, here we go. First piece of the school year, pencil drawing based on the artist Ansel Adams, and we're going to call this one Buffalo in the Wild. Have a great week. I'll see you next Monday for our next drawing.